Okay, in the last video, we did this, and we came up with uh, an equation for a parabola with a vertex at 0, 0, uh, a focal length p, uh, and oriented vertically with a vertical axis of symmetry. And we got this, 4py equals x squared. So what I want to do is take that idea and now mess with it. The first thing we can do to mess with it is to move the parabola somewhere else. So let's say that you want to have a parabola with a vertex over here. Right? You want to have it over there. And this vertex, we're going to say it's moved to the coordinates hk. This is kind of like the center of a circle or the center of an ellipse. We're going to use the same coordinate names, h and k, except in this case it's the vertex of the parabola. Let's still have our focus up here, p units above, and the directrix down here, p units below. Okay, dotted line that directrix. So it's d. Uh, so, um, the equation of this parabola, we should be able to obtain it by taking the uh, 4py equals x squared. Just take that and apply shifts like we did with the circle, right? Just uh, shift it around to move the center somewhere else. Super easy to do. All we do is we have to uh, replace our y with y minus the y coordinate, y minus k. And then instead of x squared, we're going to have x minus the x coordinate of the vertex squared. So subtracting k directly from the y and subtracting h directly from the x produces an equation which is um, kind of oriented, uh, sorry, which has been shifted to a different location with the new vertex. Suppose you want your, um, suppose you want this thing to go down. Okay, suppose you want this to go down instead of up. All you've got to do there um, is use a negative p value. If you take p and make it negative, then you will reflect this thing. It'll flip upside down and you'll start going down instead of up. Um, so that would be, the, the negative would end up right over here, um, like on this side where the p is. Okay, so use a negative p-value if you want it to go down. Um, so the other thing you might want to do is orient your parabola horizontally instead of vertically, for which um, you'd end up with something horizontal axis of symmetry. It would look sort of like that. And uh, for this, all you actually want to do is just take the x and the y and you swap their positions. So instead of 4p times y minus k, we're going to have 4p times x minus h, still where this is still hk as the coordinates of the vertex, okay? And the ver and the um, this is still p units away right there. So 4p x minus h, and then equals y minus k squared. So the roles of the x and the h have swapped places, and now we have a different equation um, for horizontal uh, for a horizontal one focus here, and directrix, a vertical line. So, uh, yeah, that's, I think, that's pretty good.